Morning YouTube, uh, this is Chuck Gentles and I'm uh, doing this video on a trummel that I built uh, a few years ago. Uh, it's a really great piece of equipment. Uh, we just got big into dredging and didn't use it a lot. This was all hand built. Uh, if anybody would like to build one of these, uh, there's plans available for it, not from me, but online. But uh, you've got to have some uh, metal talents to be able to do some welding and, and things like that. And this one's totally different than uh, some of them. Uh, I've made my own changes to it, so I'll, I'll show you what they are here in a second. So let's get started on this. Uh, one of the changes I made to this was on the spray bar. I've made it so this piece where your hose goes in uh, is removable. And the reason it's removable is because this is the rock tray that folds down and it hooks just above the sluice here, like so. So now you can put this back in and that's where your uh, water inlet goes. And originally this was built, see if I can shoot this in a little bit closer for you. Originally this was built um, to be a recirculator and if you look, let me grab the camera here, if you look on this end, you'll see down here there's a battery tray. And uh, I made that tray so we could uh, run the, the drive and the pump, which was a 2200 gallon per hour pump, and do this as a recirculator, but I used a, uh, a lawn and garden battery for a lawn, lawn and garden tractor and it had about a half hour's worth of life. So we went to a pump and a generator and, and things of that nature to make it uh, more usable. Uh, this is a chain drive. If you look here you can see the chain coming down and it goes down to a gear set down here and this is a wiper motor, a two-speed wiper motor out of a Saturn. Now the rollers, you can see there's a set of rollers in there and a set of rollers here on this end. And these are actually uh, skateboard wheels and they've held up really well. I'm really surprised. Um, like I said, this is the, uh, the rock tray that when the rocks come through, uh, the barrel, uh, they hit this and they go out in the front and don't get into the sluice itself. The sluice is actually uh, a Gold King sluice. This is an old Gold King sluice I got from a guy. He was my neighbor. Wanted to get rid of it and it was a three foot sluice and surprising this catches really really well the, the way it's set up. Underneath here is, you can see this lash up I have there that is to adjust the elevation of the sluice itself. So just by itself I can adjust that so it's flatter or steeper as I need it. The other change I made to it, I did four legs with uh, adjustable legs and so I can adjust the height and again I can adjust the barrel so it's running at one level and the sluice so it's running at another. So these are on all four corners. The electrics for it are all in conduit. As you can see here, this is the conduit coming into the box. This is the conduit and the chain drive here uh, for the motor. And up here is the hopper. Uh, one of the problems we had is when you shovel into this, uh, the rocks would get up here and hit, get into the chain and it would jam the chain. We put this, this rock guard here so anything it hits goes over and hits the barrel here. The barrel is made, uh, I made this myself also, it's uh, the ends of it here are 16 gauge and we rolled it here in the shop half inch square tube around it uh, to hold it stiff. Again, more 16 gauge here. This is just uh, flat expanded metal. 
uh, for the barrel shelf. So the material falls through that. Um, I don't know if you can see up in here, but you can see the spray bar it goes clear up to the end and it sprays into the input also here. This sprays into where your rocks go, plus it's spraying inside here, inside the barrel. So to get your material out of there, as it goes through, it comes down here and it comes out into your sluice. So you've got to watch these angles here, because if this is the wrong angle, your material is not going to come out. If it's too steep, it's going to uh, just plug up up here on this end and, rather, and then come out. So if we get a few minutes today, I'd probably like to take this out and uh, set it up and run it for you. Uh, we won't be using uh, the pumps. I've got two pumps. Uh, these are both home lights. This one here has just been rebuilt and it works. This one here is older than I am, I think, and it's just a parts pump. Uh, this is the uh, foot valve pickup and the hose for it. It's an uh, inch and a quarter, I believe it is. And the green hose is what would have come off the other pump and it goes up here into this input that I showed you that was removable here. So there it is. That's how uh, it was put together. Uh, it still has some gravel in it, you can see. Uh, from the last time we did, we did a test on something we changed here and uh, we had, so we didn't bother taking that out. But I'll try to get it outside and get it set up out there and see what we can do. Okay, I'm still in the shop, so what I've done is I brought this, my trusty power supply out that I built that you've seen in some other videos. Now I've tied it in to the hot here and to the ground over there and it comes up in the conduit, it comes up here to the control panel. As you can probably not see here yet. There we go. There it is. Uh, this switch here was for the pump, which we're not going to use. So uh, this is the high speed. If I remember right, uh, this was set to go at, uh, I think 13 RPM was the ideal uh, RPM for it. As you can see, there's a, a mark here. We did it with a tack, that white mark. So, now here's slow speed. So, I'm not sure why you would use that slow speed other than uh, if you're into something you wanted to wash longer, you could, you could do it. So anyhow, I'm going to try to get this uh, pup outside and we'll give it a go. Alright guys, so uh, here we are, we're outside. Just wanted to show you the level. I got it running just a little bit on the fast side. I haven't run water through it yet, so we may have to make other uh, changes to it uh, just to get it to flow right. Then we'll run a little bit of material for it, through it and uh, show you how that works. Give me a second and we'll get some water going. Okay, here we are for the end of the barrel, so you can see this rock coming out. And it just washes, the spray bar goes. I'm not running full force on the water, but it's, uh, it, it, it's washing all those rocks. They come out on the slide. See, and I need a little bit more angle uh, to, the, to the whole trommel end of it. But that's it. Uh, we'll run, let this run for just a little bit, and then we'll do a cleanup. Okay, I'm going to try to remember how to do the cleanup on this, so you may see some problems here, but I think I remember how to do this. Remove this again. Take this up over. So now we have just a sluice here. And it's as simple as that. Uh, obviously I don't have my clean out sub. But let me get my tub and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the tub here. 
And just remember now this is set up to work right out of a creek now. So it will be working with a pump and a battery and not doing a recirculation type of setup. When we're doing the recirculator there's three big tubs that go on in, under the front of this and uh, we just recirculate all that water that was coming off the end of the rock chute. So let me get this tray out. Rip it back, I'm sorry. One nice thing about this is you got water all the time, man. Yeah? Helps you clean up. This is an old sluice because this cleans up with carpet. There's no minor moss or anything in there. That's pretty good. Now on the upper end here, we got expanded metal and rubber mat. So, in case you didn't hear me because I'm got kind of my head in the box here, uh, we've got rubber mat, expanded metal on the upper end. So that's as easy as it is to clean up. There's nothing to it. Um, it's basically clean, throw it all back together and go again. Um, I'm going to go and uh, clean up this material. I, I run this a lot longer than it appeared in the video. So hopefully we find some good color in it. Alright guys, I'm going to do a clean up from the trommel. Uh, I got my small pans here. so. Sucker bottle. And this is our material. You know, this water is really bad. I'm going to dump this. And we'll just take it out of here. Like yo. So I am safety pended even with the little pans. And I don't see anything in there. Let me make sure you can see what I'm doing. Looks pretty good. Alright. So here we go. I was say these are my desert pans, so I'm not sure what kind of gold's gonna be in this. That material, I'm not sure where it came from. Oh, it smokes. A little bit of black sand here.
hands are away, don't they? Nice little pieces in there. I believe this is Bumblebee King Gold. What's in here? There's another bigger piece. Keep that in front of the camera for you, but I got some glare and I can't see what I'm doing. Let's go left handed, maybe. Job of showing this. Oh, that's, a nice little piece. that's a little bit smaller than those others. So we'll take them. After using a 14-inch pan, this is uh, it's a little bit more difficult. There's some more. Oh, there's a lot of gold in there. There's two pieces. stuff I don't see any bigger. Trouble did a really good job as far as I'm concerned. Of, of, uh, nothing big again, but. But they're nice little pieces. I would say, I think this came out of Bumblebee King. But. Stay there, I'll try to zoom on it for you. Okay, I lost where I'm at here now. My camera went goofy on me. Okay, this is a little bit better. I don't know what's happening. Get out here in the heat like this and the camera doesn't like it but there's these are little I mean I'm, I've got them magnified I'm zoomed in on them but it's quite a few nice little pieces Trouble did its job well thanks for watching give it a thumbs up share and subscribe <laughs>